Okay, this is Rob Boyle. I'm in Coolidge, Arizona. This is my third year going into strip tail. Um, we started out with an Orthman one tripper. Um, the thing I like about Orthman and, and, and this unit here, the first thing when I went looking for strip tail rigs is I looked for resale value. There was more Orthmans than any other brand out there. And then two, um, research and uh, cooperation. They've been really good about, uh, they brought down a demo rig for us. We were able to do some trials and uh, see how it actually worked on our farm and how it fit our equipment and uh, the horsepower we needed to pull it. Um, most places you could pull a 12 row, one tripper with 300 horse pretty easy. There's days I can't pull this with 400 horse. Um, so we're looking at, we've got an eight row 30, we pull with an 8320 RT it's the third, uh, the fourth tractor we've had on it, trying to equalize the power and get the right combination to get enough horsepower to weight ratio. Um, we really like this rig for the simplicity and the ease of maintenance. Um, we get about 600 acres out of a set of the disc coulters, the pizza cutters up front. So to be able to get in here, change everything out real fast is a, is a big plus. Um, we did like being able to put on dry fertilizer. We have a Montag air cart on the back. Uh, we usually put down 350 to 400 pounds per acre. Uh, I really like concentrating that fertilizer in the strip and getting a good, uh, good soil mixture. Uh, we changed this year to the grow zone tubes. We really like that where it'll leave some of the, the fertilizer up in the top two to three inches as well as putting the rest down deep. We've played around with different baskets on the back end and pressures. Uh, we started out with concaves when we bought the, the rig. Uh, then we went to narrow straight bars. Now we've gone to the wide bars that are concave and then we're going to go back through and uh, fill them in. Uh, so we just had a bunch of pieces laser cut and we're welding them in right now. Um, this rig will be out tomorrow uh, doing strip tail behind sorghum. We're going to run a root puller in the front, in front. Then we'll come back with this rig afterwards. Then we run eight row equipment. Um, on everything um, and one of the keys to how everything works out here is we have to have borders uh, 100 foot borders for our water and uh, we just plant right over the border strip till right over the border so we really like the parallel linkages on the trip one tripper as well as the planter or we can just go right over the borders and uh, it doesn't affect the rest of the row units when we're on that border